Major leaguers from every team have come together to test their gaming skills in MLB The Show 20 and compete against their peers. But now we're down to the final four, each one hoping to advance to the championship series. Welcome to a playoff presentation of the Players League on ESPN. It's a windy city battle for supremacy as Chicago Cub Ian Happ matches up with Lucas Giolito, the Chicago White Sox, in this best of three semifinal series. Find out who will advance, who will be eliminated, and who will be best in the show. Welcome to MLB The Show 20 Players League on ESPN. I'm your host, Robert Flores. We're glad you could join us for semifinal playoff action. The Players League had 30 big leaguers representing every major league team playing a regular season that lasted three weeks and 435 games. The top eight players made the playoffs and our bracket looks like this. Blake Snell of the Tampa Bay Rays was the top seed and won his first round matchup. Now he takes on Jeff McNeil of the New York Mets, the four seed. We also saw a few upsets in the quarterfinals, including the biggest of them all, Ian Happ of the Chicago Cubs, the seven seed, taking down a team who was in and out of the top spot basically all season, Joey Gallo of the Texas Rangers. That brings us here, Lucas Giolito of the Chicago White Sox, the six seed, taking on Ian Happ of the Chicago Cubs, the seven seed. It's a Chicago series like no other. Let's get you the rules. Three inning games, live series rosters. Our semifinal round is a best of three. From there, the championship series, it's a best of five. Now, let's meet our players for this semifinal matchup from the Chicago Cubs, Ian Happ, and from the Chicago White Sox, Lucas Giolito. Same question to both of you. Lucas, you first. For those of us that aren't from the Chicago area, explain the Cubs-White Sox rivalry. Oh man, it's crazy. Uh, playing for the South Side, playing for the White Sox. You know, we haven't won in a, in a bit. We have not been to the postseason in a bit. We're trying to make, we're trying to change that this year. Yeah. But that's like the closest thing we have to postseason baseball to having that kind of uh, energy in, in yeah. the stadium, whether we're on the road or or at home. Um, packed house, fans are crazy. It's a lot of fun. Ian, what about you? Yeah, I think just the energy that you get in the city when one of those series is coming up. Uh, people are talking about it. It's all over the radio and TV. Um, so for us, it's always a blast just to see both stadiums packed. Sometimes uh, fans have a little bit too much fun out there. <laughs> well, this series will start in the south side. Game one before game two will be at Wrigley Field. Best of three. The winner moving on to our championship series. All right, but both players making some changes to their lineup. Lucas, I know you're going with Dallas Keuchel, and Ian, it looks like you're going with your own lefty, Jose Quintana. Yeah, Q's coming back to the south side. Uh, had a little bit of success last series with having Darvish throw in uh, uh, back in Texas, so we're going to see how it goes. Yeah, that's right. Ian Happ able to upset Joey Gallo in three games, winning game three in Arlington. So here we go. Game one, Dallas Keuchel will get the start for Lucas Giolito. Jose Quintana for Ian Happ. Giolito has been very effective. Keuchel has no doubt been his best pitcher so far in the MLB The Show 20 Players League. And a beautiful look at the south side. Guaranteed rate field. Game one of this best of three. The winner earns a spot in the championship series. Chris Bryant getting it started against Dallas Keuchel. And we are underway in game one. First pitch swing. First pitch. Here's the 0-1. Both players upsetting higher-seeded opponents in the ah. first round. Stay. Chris Bryant sends Stay. one deep, going back, going all the way back, and caught at the wall. Nearly oh, oh, a oh, home oh. run to open Good. things. Wow. Oh, man. Got to get that first wild. out. It's a loud out number one. Here's Anthony Rizzo. You can find Ian Happ on Instagram at IHAP underscore one. And as for Lucas Giolito, find him on IG at LGO27. Here's the one one from Keiko. Mm. Misses low with a slider. Mm. 
Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo will send one. Go, Deep go, go, to go, right go. field the going back mm. and another I don't warning track. I do shot. not I do not like when the outfielders are coasting to the ball like that. I need oh. you to get on your horse. You need a little bit more urgency is what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, what an mm. inning. There's the MLB wow. the show 20 cover athlete Javi Baez Two grounding out to balls. third. Two hard hit That's balls. That's what Dallas does. Out out. That's what he does. That's what he's been doing all season long. Giving up hard hit balls right at people. Yeah, the Adam ball is very effective. <laughs> Anderson, Moncada, and Abreu. One, two, and three for Lucas Giolito. Here's the 1 0 from Jose Quintana. And Tim Anderson will send one to right, and that will fall in front of Jason Hayward. Tim Anderson has been hitting very well in the playoffs. Yoan Moncada. So oh, that's going to drop. And Let's that go. will drop. That. The so auto shift. Trouble I do not like that Quintana. auto shift for him. Oh, don't swing at that. Come on. It's Jose Abreu. Oh. Abreu had did not go deep in the regular season for Lucas Giolito. But go, here go, he go, will go. spend Everyone one go. to right, and that will split the defense. Get past Hayward, goes all the way to the wall. I'll take run the two runs. Scores, and Jose Abreu is I'll take it. out trying to stretch it to a triple. But it's a two-run double. That's, that's all. It's just eight. holding the L1 right there. <laughs> You're spamming L1, weren't you? Somebody was going to get out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, someone was going to get out, but I need to secure the runs. <laughs> well, that ball is well struck. Yes. That's Monty lasers. Grandal. Nearly yes, the same spot. Lasers. Don't get thrown and out, yes? No. Okay. And Grandal using that six speed, I believe, to... Get in yeah. with a double. Six no, speed makes Rizzo's 21. A, yeah, Quick. when you're running with a piano on your back. Here's Eloy Jimenez. Jimenez with Jimenez he with can't three do it. Ooh. Can't do it. That was we actually worked on that in practice. It's off the backstop. Try to throw him out. Two runs already in. Lucas Giolito beat Bo Bichette, the three seed, in three games. Winning game three on the road in Toronto. Here's the 3-2 from Quintana. That ball is smashed over the jumping Chris uh, Bryant. Is Grandal going to try oh, and yes. score? Oh, he will. As Yasmani nice. finally a successful. Will to make it three nothing. That was my first successful like uh, pointing in the direction and pressing the button. Control ah. the individual send. runner. I like yeah. it. An actual individual send. Oof. That ball is also well struck. Perfect, wow. perfect. Perfect timing. Perfect result. Runner will have to hold it third. Lucas, I think you and Hap, you and Ian would would agree that that the base running and controlling it is a very difficult skill to master. Yeah, it's yes. the most difficult thing in the game, by far. Yes. There's a lot going on. You Dang. have to control multiple people at once. Yeah. You know, many many of us have made a lot of errors and outs on the base path. Here's Lori Garcia. Oh, he reaches out go. and gets past the <laughs> infield. Uh, the ball is smoked. I, and it's now four is, nothing. Giolito over Ian Happ. Come on, Dallas. Come on, Dallas. The ninth man to the plate for Dallas Keuchel. So that means Keuchel is going to come out for his second inning of work. Jose Quintana been knocked around a bit. 
Oof. Perfect, perfect. Ooh, perfect, perfect for Dallas Keuchel. Lucas Giolito is locked in at the plate. Seven hits, four runs in the bottom Ooh. of the first. Let's get back to game one. This is MLB The Show 20 Players League on ESPN. Not a bad time to get some people going, though. And in the postseason, it's basically been a two-man pen for Giolito, Steve Ciszek, and Aaron <laughs> Bummer. Not three. I'd say three. Okay. Got Cordero. Cordero, oh, Cordero with the has seen some action in the postseason. You're right about that. Who's Kyle Schwarber? I. What an outfield That's shift. Stung to left center. It's a base hit for Kyle Schwarber. That'll bring up Wilson Contreras. Ian, you mash with Contreras. My best hitter. Contreras See? trying to get something happen, but sends no. a roller to short. What are we doing by Schwarber Whoa. is safe. So everyone like, like, that happened. We needed it. And here uh, comes okay. The buff Ian Happ. He is yoked. Oh, yes. and Ian Happ sends one deep to left center field, and it's gone. What a break. Mm. Virtual what Ian break. Happ cuts the lead to one. Uh, oh, wait. There we go. That's what I was looking for. That'll bring up Jason Hayward. So Dallas Keuchel. Staked out to a 4 nothing lead, has been rocked for three in the top of the second, and still no one out. Wilson Contreras. I can't, be I cannot believe that error, man. Taylor made double play ball right there. Whew. That was a just a massive three. Ian, you you only had two home runs uh, as yourself in the regular season. That was a big knock there. Yeah, yeah. He, a, lot of, a lot of doubles out of my guy. He, he walked a lot, too. We appreciated that. Just quality ABs. Well, you know, to be fair, as, as big as his biceps are, you would think that he'd go deep more often. You'd expect he had <laughs> but unfortunately, they didn't, they didn't give me that trait in this game. All right, here's Nico Horner. Action in the Giolito bullpen. Misfire. White Sox lead this Crosstown Classic Series 62-60, dating back to the start of interleague play in 1997. Remember, in the three-inning games, the pitcher's stamina is a factor. And the lower his stamina gets, the more difficult it is for our players to locate pitches. Here's the 2-2 from Keiko. That one sent to left, drifting back. And that's out number two. Where are we at, Dallas? Yeah, it's time. So Dallas All right, Keuchel Steve. is going to be lifted. We're going to be taken out for the submariner, Steve Ciszek. Ian, you faced Steve, Steve uh, Ciszek in your career? I have not. I have not faced Steve. Just played with him. All right. Here's the pinch hitter, Jason Kipnis. He sends one to, to right. Burn Bodie. Maybe didn't really didn't really play how I thought it was going to play there. And the right fielder squeezes it for out number three. But a big, big inning for Ian Happ. That's getting out. Oh, L2. Gotta go L2. <laughs> Gotta go L2. Woo. Can't give those up, O2. Here's Yohan Mankata. Oh, no. Oh, he sends one deep to center. <sighs> Going back. Happ at the wall. Oh. Can't make the catch. It's back to back. Homer to Giolito. 
that was smoked. 105 plus off the bat. Oh, uh, yeah. 420 feet away. Moncada is the craziest power to center I've ever seen. Really? In real life, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. You know Detroit center field? Yeah. He cleared that. Ooh. That was... That's a big, like, big boy he's, he's hit some balls very far. Aloy, Aloy also has a lot of power to center. Who do you think well, has think the biggest power? When he was Who younger. has the big, the most power on yeah. your team? Um, Aloy, okay. like overall. Oh, did I miss that? Ah, I did. Come on. Ian, Come on. Ian, what about you? You want to weigh in on that? Who has the most power on your team? Um, <laughs> great question. Uh, you know what? I think Javi probably puts on the best show in BP, but I saw I saw Chris Bryant clear the left field video board at Wrigley in BP, which was... That's big. The, maybe the farthest ball I've ever seen hit. That's big. That was big, too, from Javi, Javi Grandal. Javi hit the... Javi hit the slide in uh, Miller Park. Bernie <laughs> slide up there. That is Dang. far. That is far. And what an inning. What an answer here from Lucas Giolito. I'm going to try to get somebody out real quick. Just one out would be cool. Eight to three. You're right. Still one uh, out. Here's the aforementioned Eloy Jimenez. Been a rough inning for Dan Winkler. There's out number one. Game two will be at Wrigley Field, and game three, if necessary, right back here on the south side. Oh, what a swing. <laughs> that was the protection swing. <laughs> yeah. In a, what, 1-1 one, one count? Yeah, I like it. All right, so two outs. That's what you like to see out of your big banger. Luis Robert, 250 in the postseason. Lucas has said this is one of the his, his stats in the game. Just They just don't represent who he is as a player. I got to stand firm on that. I know it's because he doesn't have big league time yet. Yeah. They gave him the speed. They gave him the speed, but he hits tanks, man, and he's got, like, no power. Mm. Well, hopefully we get a chance right. to uh, to see that power on this full display very soon in 2020 because you have definitely been singing his praises on just how impressed you were with him. Yeah. All right, Chris Bryant trying to get things started here. Yeah, high fly ball. Foul ground. Abreu comes over to make out number one. I'm not taking any chances. You never know what could happen in this game. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good move. Bummer is nasty. I actually, remember when he made his debut against the Cubs? Oh, that's unfortunate. Have you faced him? I haven't faced him. I played with him in college. Uh, we played in the cave together. Oh, okay. Or maybe yeah, I faced him once. His, but that, his I, power I remember is ridiculous. When, oh, my God. I remember when he debuted uh, at your place against the Cubs. And I was pumped because he, had, he finally made it up, and he was just absolutely nasty. And you were saying how much you enjoyed playing in the Cape League. I loved it, yeah. I had, I had two just wonderful summers up there. All right, Javi Baez representing the last chance for Ian Happ. Right field. Oh, come on, in. Nomar. But Nomar Mazara can't make the play. He took a step in and paid for it as Javi uh. Baez will go to third. So now it's Kyle Schwarber. Aaron Bummer, his seventh pitch. Yeah, he's fast. Oh, 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 center fielder misses that one. And it we got I don't know life, what's going boys. on. We got life. Hold on. All right, so this is Wilson Contreras. I know that you're. 
Contreras definitely makes this game more interesting with just one swing. He has that ability. You heard Ian say he's been his best hitter all season. Oh, Here we God. Go. All right, so 8-4, two men on, two out. And Ian Happ at the plate, switch hitter, went deep earlier. More action in the Giolito bullpen. You see Bummer has lost his confidence. Thank you. Here. Mazzara makes the catch. Wow. That one I thought was definitely destined to go over his head. Jeez, what a oh, what a rally. Oh Put up a little fight there. A little fight. It's good momentum. Good momentum for us. That last pitch I threw, I didn't have that bar. Like his confidence was done. Yeah. That was didn't a blind any, pitch. Yeah. Uh Lucas, how close were you to to making a change? I was about this close to punching my monitor. <laughs> <laughs> In uh you had a Definitely a nice little rally there. Came up a little bit short. Um, but uh, as you said, maybe it gives you a little confidence going into game two. Yeah, I didn't have to throw any of my late inning guys. Uh, we got some pitches on on his late inning guys. So I think the confidence is just going to carry us through. We're fine. There you go. No panic over here. Chicago White Sox, Lucas Giolito leading one nothing in this best of three. Game two is underway. So Jason Hayward looks at ball two. Must win game for Ian Happ, hoping to force it aside in game three. Good battle here between Hayward and Cordero. Right into the shift. He's thrown out at first for out number two. Uh. Here comes Jason Kipnis, longtime Cleveland Indian, coming over to the Cubs in the offseason. I had no idea he was on the Cubs now. Yeah. I I had no idea. Oh, yeah. oh, sick. What was it like having him as a new teammate, Ian? Ooh. He's awesome. He's super pro. Just anything for the team. And you love to see that. Yeah. He's a Chicago area kid, so a bit of a homecoming for him. Yeah. It was really cool for him like to put the uni on and, and – yeah. No, we haven't got to play at Wrigley yet, but the concept for him of playing in Wrigley where he grew up is, is going to be really cool. And a swing and a miss. Ball in the dirt, and they throw it to first in time, and that will end the inning. So we go to the third. Still no score in game two in this best of three. That brings up Larry no. Garcia. Oh, yes. come on. Yes. What? That's a gold glover to oh. a platinum glover. What? A, what is that? That is a huge play. play. You rarely see it. You rarely see it. Hit to Jason Hayward, who throws him out from right field. Wow. Lurie, Lurie's got to get down the line, Gio. There's no, I mean, come on. There, Lurie, he, he does get down the line. I'm sure, I'm sure he's another player that they didn't get the speed stat right on, you know. So right. instead of a base knock, it's out number one. Do you see the action in the Giolito bullpen? Craig Kimbrell. Oh, my. Trying to preserve a scoreless tie in the top of the third. Ooh, that came in hot, 97 miles per hour. Encarnacion, the pinch hitter. He can change this game with one swing. He's ahead in the count three and one in the dangerous Tim Anderson on deck. Ooh, just late on the fastball. Sit, sit. Challenge and fastball there. Sends one deep to right center. Going back, and it's off the top of the wall, but very little speed for Encarnacion, but he's still able to get there with a double. So the go-ahead run in scoring position. Giolito more than likely, yes, he will make a change in pinch run for Encarnacion. And Lucas, you made a point of putting Adam Engel, making sure he was in the lineup or on your roster. Oh, yeah. Needed it. Big Ooh, time speed for Engel. Also could be a defensive replacement if necessary out on the outfield. Tim Anderson facing Craig Kimbrell. 
Oh wow. my god. Look at that. Look at that. That's A plus defense out of Hayward. And Jason Hayward making two that was spectacular so scoring position in the outfield. See, I'm His not a hitter, just, but I yeah. do know you do not make the last out at third. Yes. You don't do that it. Is a, that is a thing. David Bodie on to pinch hit. Oh. Big knock, big knock. If Hap scores here, we go back to the south side. David Bodie is aboard. Comes off the bench. Aaron Bummer trying to get this game to the fourth inning. Here's Chris Bryant, top of the order. Mm, that's not where that needs to be. Mm. What? Oh, what? We gotta go. We gotta go. What just happened? Uh oh. Oh boy. What is that? Oh, oh! It went over the left fielder. I, I was tagging. What? What is that? I. Oh so my. So it's first All and right. second. I think you got caught up in that corner somehow. I don't know how he didn't make the catch. We got a wall out there. That, lines guys. on top of the wall. It's a tough play. It's a real tough play. Okay, so Ian, that that's a that's a difficult play, right? In real life. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You're up against the brick wall. There's maybe an inch between oh, the foul line down. and the wall. Nice job by Anthony Rizzo. Okay. So that brings up the MLB the MLB the Show 20 cover athlete Javi Baez. Runners at second and third. One out. Selfless by Riz there, selfless. A Let's run forces game three. Baez, bummer. No. All right. Get him. Get down. Ah. Uh, Safe. Yes. And Bobby we're headed back moment. to the south side. Good game, good game. That was... There was a little bit of luck there, but well played. Ian Happ walks it off against Lucas Giolito. That sets up a winner-take-all game three. And it's next when we come back. It's MLB The Show 20 Players League on ESPN. Welcome back to MLB The Show 20 Players League on ESPN. Lucas Giolito, Ian Happ, winner-take-all game three. All right. That's a one-two count. Got it. Here we go. You Darvish, strike away from a one-two-three inning. Abreu, never twice. able to fight never it twice. off and send one in front of Hayward. Good for a base hit. Good piece of hitting by Jose Abreu. Here's the dangerous Yasmani oh, Grandal. That pitch, dude. Mm. Mm. That twelve-six curveball, nasty. He follows that up with a cutter at eighty-six. Ooh, that one hit well, but well foul. Grandal batting 500 in the postseason. He's mm -hmm. gone deep. No. And he just mm -hmm. went deep here. Perfect, perfect. And it's now two to one White Sox. Perfect timing, perfect timing. Let's go. Let's go, Yaz. So happy this guy's on our team. Lucas, his swing, I don't know what it is, but his swing in Beautiful. this game, it plays, man. It really does. Yeah. I'm just so comfortable when he's in the box. So a big two-run homer for Grandal. Here's Eloy Jimenez. Batting 250 in the postseason. Ooh. Both team have both teams have homered in this first inning. Oh, good pitch. Good pitch. Dang, cutter, man. Uh, mm, caught him looking, but that ends the I, inning. I, but thought the it was, I thought it was like a little breaking ball or something. It's going to keep going down. So two to one. Carlos Rodon gave up a leadoff homer to open the game. On for his oh. second inning of work. Wilson Contreras sends one deep to left. No, what is... Oh, 
Eloy Jimenez can't make the with... play, and it bounces What's over going the wall on to right now. Oh my goodness, Eloy. Here's Ian Happ. He has a homer in this series, batting 429. No one out. What a weird, oh. weird play. Not like that, Happer. That's ugly. All right, Jason Hayward on deck. Oh, no. Ooh, hit sharply to right, but Abreu is there for out number one. <sighs> Swing timing was late, and the contact result, uh, okay. Results in out number one. Here's Jason Hayward. Hayward Come on, Carlos, two. you got this. <laughs> do I have my bullpen going? Yeah, I do. So there's action in the bullpen. C-Sheck and Fry. We've yet to see Jace uh, Fry. I don't think we've seen Jace Fry in this series, right, Lucas? No, no, no. Yeah. Secret weapon. Secret weapon looming. Here's Jason Hayward. He's ahead in the count, 2-0. and oh. Hayward, four home runs in the regular season for Ian Happ. That ball... Hit to right, now in foul ground. Oh, oh! I thought he was going to make that catch over the railing. Instead, the I don't know what's happening with my outfielders right now. You've I'm so you've confused. Got, I love it. I love it. Stay right weird there. things going on in your outfield defensively. Oh, Jason Hayward. Let's go. Let's go. Serves one to center. Rounding third, headed for home. No. Let's go. Play at the plate. Oh. Got him. Hayward will slide oh, in no. second. But the potential tying run is cut down at home. What a throw. Got a hand cannon wow. out there or something? Oh, Look yeah, he's, got a, he's five tool. Luis Robert, five tool. Yeah, Luis Robert, five tool. wow, the, what a the throws are The throws are good. The throws are good. We just got to find a way to get leather on the ball. Oh, my goodness. The outfield has either been puzzling or great there has really been no in between no all right still a two to one game I want to remind you that boys and girls clubs across the country are providing critical services to children impacted by COVID-19 baseball is proud to support their effort we're all in this together hashtag one team for more information please visit bgca.org slash relief fund Welcome back to MLB The Show 20 Players League on ESPN. A spot in the championship series up for grabs. Giolito and Hap. Let's get back to the action. Hold on. More activity in the Giolito bullpen. You Darvish. Wow, early pull for you. Yeah, he was uh, he was already tired after that first inning. That was some stressful pitches for him. <laughs> Under heavy stress in the first inning. Nomar Mazzara hitting 429 in the postseason for Lucas Giolito. Jason. Oh. Hey man, at least your outfielders can catch the ball. Yeah, we got a we got a solid <laughs> outfield. We got some we got enough Gold Gloves out and right for the rest of them. Luis Robert trying to get on track Ooh. in the playoffs, hitting 167. Boy. He fouls that one back. Even the count at one and one. Luis Robert trying to add to the lead. No. Oh! That oh. ball sent deep to left. Going back is Schwarber over That's his, his head. First well, homer. Over his head. And it's gone. I'm glad he hit it now. That's his first career homer right there. Get the ball. 88. Double we'll eight is bullpen. great. It's a lead. It's it. a home run for Luis Robert. And a big insurance run. 
It's three to one. It's in Yuck. on the hand. Weak fly ball and foul ground. Route number two. But Luis Robert. You heard Lucas say that the that his car doesn't do the, his power justice, and we saw his power on display there. Square swing. Big square swing. Oh, were you power swinging there? Yeah, that hole at bat. Wow, the power swing. That's a bold move. All right, so here comes Edwin Encarnacion off the bench, pinch hitting. Ah. Rowan Wick on in relief. And Encarnacion <sighs> will fly out to Jason Hayward. So we go to the top of the third. Ian Happ needing at least two to extend his season. Lucas Giolito, three out the way from a spot in the championship series. Bummer and Cordero up in his bullpen. Mulling over the decision, it looks like it's going to be Jimmy Cordero. The sinker is filthy, coming in hot at in excess of 95 miles per hour. And pinch hitting is the switch hitting catcher Victor Caratini. Caratini and then Bryant on deck. Swinging at a changeup, sent foul. It's 0 and 1. That smoked. Oh my God. Oh. I don't know. I don't Over know what to head, do, man. Robert I don't know. I wall. don't know what to do. Oh, oh get him! Big oh, turn no. at second. No. They're gonna get, get Caratini diving back to the base. It's only fair. It's only fair. That I, that's I what think. Happened. Oh my! Oh, oh my. my God! You're fielding my base running. <sighs> oh my gosh, guys! What? Oh, that was, we ugly. Have that was seen... an ugly play that resulted in what it should have been. We have seen some entertaining plays in the outfield, on the base paths. A huge out number one, mm. and oh, that could have scored the game, the potential. That could have been the game tying uh, run right there. It's a base knock. All right, all right. All right, so Bryant aboard at second. Here's Anthony Rizzo. Good take, Rizzo. Man. It's been the twilight zone between the outfield play and the base running. Here's Anthony hmm. Rizzo. He's ahead in the count 3 0. Javi Baez on deck. Jimmy. All right, so it's a four-pitch walk. It's now first and second, and here's the the dangerous shortstop, Javi Baez. Oh, sir. Looks at a strike, a 98-mile-per-hour sinker. Oh. Mm. Early on the slider, sends it foul. It's 0-2. What a piece of hitting. Sends one the other way, rounding third. Oh, no. Going to stay at third. Oh, here comes Bummer. We're going to bring in the oh, left-hander, Aaron Bummer, to face Kyle Schwarber. Welcome back to MLB The Show 20 Players League on ESPN. One out. Oh. Middle, middle, sinker. Bold play. It's not what I wanted, but. <laughs> Tying run at second. Sometimes, sometimes I don't have that uh, accuracy. Oof. Two and one, Schwarber ahead in the count. And now it's three and one. Wilson Contreras looming. Here's the 3 1. Looks at a straight. auto take. Payoff pitch. Oh, oh what a pitch. Cutter. Pitch. Get Schwarber. And now Giolito, one out away. Here's Wilson Contreras, Ian Happ's best hitter. One for one in this game. 
Dribbler. Bummer. Throw to first. Got it. Well played. Well and played. Very, very game. good uh, series right there, man. Oh, my god. Good gosh. games. Oh, good that games. was incredible. That was... Oh, man. That was an epic series. Yes. That was a lot of fun. I, you guys can't see because I picked the black shirt today, but I am sweating. <laughs> oh, I'm sweating bullets. My hands are dripping. Yeah. What a series. What a finish. Lucas Giolito is on to the championship series. I mean, between the, the, the outfield play that we saw in game two, where Eloy runs into the brick wall, more weird things going on in the outfield, and then on the base paths. Uh, as you said, it wasn't always pretty, but man, it sure was entertaining, Ian. Yeah, yeah, it was not pretty from us. The bats kind of fell asleep, but we had chances, and that's all you can ask for. Lucas, you were trying everything to get, you know, they say in baseball, outs 26 and 27 are the most difficult, but here in this case, it's outs 8 and 9. Yeah, uh, that last inning was crazy. Uh, the outfield error, the base running mistake, and then I give up, I think, three singles. Uh, I'm sweating. I'm this air conditioning unit I have like right next to me is just not getting the job done. Sweating right through my clothes, my hands. Uh, luckily, I was able to make a couple good pitches and get out of it. So it was it was fun, crazy. Uh, could you guys imagine a a Cubs White Sox World Series? I mean, could you imagine what that would be like? That that would be the most amazing I, thing ever. I think the city would burn down. <laughs> yeah, I. I like you said. I, I it's hard to imagine. It the fans would be on a whole nother level. Yeah. Ian, what what chance do you give Lucas in the uh, in the championship series? I think he's got a great chance. The his lineup is stacked, and he was just absolutely mashing, especially that first game. Uh, I know um, that there's some good competition on the other side of the bracket, but I believe in him. He's going to do it for Chicago. Yeah. Uh, Lucas, uh, moving on to the uh, championship series, as you said, when this league began, you really hadn't been very familiar with the game and you felt like your skills improved over the course. Now you're in the championship series. What does that feel like? It, it's crazy. It's kind of, it's, it's very weird to think about, you know, I never thought that I'd be playing a video game on ESPN. Um, you know, I, I'm a big video game fan. It's been a passion of mine for yeah. most of my life. And whenever I'd tune into ESPN and see like an esports thing going on, I'd always like kind of sit and watch it for a while and be like, yeah, that's pretty cool. And now I'm actually doing it. And it's, it's very, very weird. But at the same time, this entire league and postseason has been an absolute blast. So yeah. I'm looking forward to the last series here. And Ian, what did you make of your experience here in the Players League? It was awesome. I was a lot like Lucas where I hadn't played uh, a ton of like online competitive video games and I got way more into it than I thought I was going to. Uh, like I said, sweating, uh, really stressed out. Um, so it was a blast. I really enjoyed it. And Cub fans, Ian, always showing you love. What was it like to interact with them and them watching you play? Yeah, I think just giving, giving Cubs fans some sports right now. Um, definitely that, that last playoff push uh, or regular season push to get into the playoffs was, was really cool to see the fan reaction, and I can't wait uh, to see their reactions to, to the postseason too. Well, guys, it was great to, uh, to watch this, uh, uh, this Chicago rivalry in a, uh, I, I guess, a, a unique form and unique fashion, but it was fun. These three games were a lot of fun. We appreciate the time. Ian Happ of the Chicago Cubs. Well, Lucas, you either get... Jeff McNeil of the Mets or Blake Snell of the Tampa Bay Rays in the championship series. Uh, first of all, if you play Blake, how do you think that that series shapes up? Oh, man. he He's very good. He's been grinding. I know that he was grinding this game before. He was grinding this game during, even when we weren't playing in the league. Um, very solid player, top to bottom. I don't like facing the Blake Snell card, so I know that there will be one game uh, facing that. I just got to try and put it all together. Yeah. What about Jeff McNeil? Uh, you played him earlier in the regular season, of course, uh, representing the New York Mets. Uh, how do you see that matchup coming, to get, coming together? Again, another really, really solid player. I'm pretty sure that I lost to him um, in, in the league as well. So, yeah, two guys that I lost to. You know, I feel like I'm definitely a different player 
yeah. now than I was the first time I played them. So maybe that could work to my advantage. All right, so we'll be on the lookout for that. Now, Lucas, if you're fortunate enough to win three more games and become champion of the MLB The Show 20 Players League, there is a trophy, there is an award. Uh, I, I can't show it to you, but let me just say, I've seen it and I, I think it's kind of mind blowing. It's almost revolutionary, this trophy. Oh, wow. Okay. I had no idea there was actual hardware involved. Um, yeah. If, yeah, I mean, I got a lot of space in this room. All right. Well, hopefully you can, uh, we can have that hardware, hardware sent to you. But uh, congratulations for moving on to the championship series. You've been a lot of fun and you've been a very good player. Good luck to you. And, and maybe you've got three more wins left in you. Yeah, yeah. We just got to keep, keep grinding along, keep putting it together. Thanks, Robert. Thanks for watching MLB The Show 20 Players League on ESPN. We want to remind you that the semifinals continue tonight on FS1 at 8 p.m. Eastern. The two players left standing after that will battle it out tomorrow on ESPN in a best of five championship series. Check out the schedule and standings at MLB.com slash Players League. Major leaguers from every team have come together to test their gaming skills in MLB The Show 20 and compete against their peers. But now we're down to the final four, each one hoping to advance to the championship series. Welcome to a playoff presentation of the Players League on Fox Sports. Rising star Jeff McNeil of the New York Mets taking on the number one overall seed, Blake Snell of the Tampa Bay Rays in this best of three semifinal series. Find out who will advance, who will be eliminated, and who will be best in the show. Welcome to MLB The Show 20 Players League on Fox Sports. I'm your host, Robert Flores. We're glad you could join us for semifinal playoff action here on the Players League. What is the Players League? Well, 30 big leaguers representing every major league team coming together to play a regular season of 435 games. From there, the top eight players made the playoffs. The bracket is set, and we're just a series away from determining our championship series. Earlier tonight, we saw the Chicago series and Lucas Giolito of the White Sox beat Ian Happ of the Cubs in a crazy three-game series. But before we can get to the championship series matchup, let's get to our main event tonight. The top seed, Blake Snell of the Tampa Bay Rays, taking on the four seed, Jeff McNeil of the New York Mets. Let's remind you of the format. Each game, three innings, using live series rosters. Once again, the semifinals, a best of three. The championship series will be decided in a best of five. Let's meet our players. Time now to meet our players for this semifinal matchup in the MLB The Show 20 Players League playoffs. Blake Snell, the top seed from the Tampa Bay Rays, taking on Jeff McNeil of the New York Mets. Jeff, let me start with you. You took care of Dwight Smith in two games in the first round. What did you learn about your uh, your postseason experience that might be able to help you in your series against Blake? I mean, I guess don't give up. I mean, I was down both those games. Um, yeah. I ended up coming back, hit a few uh, huge home runs for us, and, uh, you know, just you know keep battling. Hopefully get a couple more wins. You know, Blake, you scored the most runs in the league during the regular season. And I've talked about that your Tampa Bay Rays lineup is not blessed with a whole bunch of gold cards or diamond cards, but yet – you have found ways to mash with your lineup. How have you been able to do it? Uh, yeah, just being patient, just waiting for the the opposing player to throw the ball around the middle of the plate and putting good swings on it. But uh, yeah, I would say just uh, yeah, I just I just been swinging at good pitches. All right, guys. Well, here we go. Game one of a best of three. It'll be in St. Petersburg at the Trop. All right, here we go. Game one. How's it like playing with uh, Degrom? That's awesome. He, he, he's a good dude. He, it's so fun playing defense behind him. Strikes everyone. Out. How's his pace? He got a fast pace. Yeah, it works quick. It's a, it, our games are two hours long and he pitches. <laughs> we can only so, score a few runs for him apparently. That's so sick. Charlie Morton getting the call oh, for game one. Goodness. First pitch swinging, pop, pop, fly, right foul ground, and that's out number one. It was. <laughs> Oh. 
Blake, you mentioned you grew up playing uh, travel baseball against Michael Conforto. Yeah, that was my dog. Um, nah, but uh, I played I played against him since I was like 10, 11, pretty much my whole life. Um, and yeah, it was a lot of fun. The dude's always been a baller, that's for sure. And Jeff, he's got big time pop when he connects. Yeah, he's been my, mm. he, I think he hit maybe 10, eight to 10 homers in the regular season for me. So he's, oh yeah. He's done some, uh, he's done some damage. Get up, ball. No. 107 yeah. off the bat, and it's off the wall. Perfect, perfect. I'm going to say that's a homer. Most place. <laughs> well, Conforto, you were right, Jeff. He did hit 10 homers for you in the regular season. Here he homers? has a double. Yeah. Yep. And now you got the big fella, Ooh. Pete Alonzo. Oh, Pete Alonzo sends one deep. High fly go, ball Peter! in that game. Come on. <laughs> Out of here. Huge. Huge. <laughs> A two-run homer for the Polar Bear. Needed that. And Jeff McNeil has a two-nothing lead in the first. Oh, stay fair. Keep it fair. So an early. Yeah. Oh, a lot of it well too. But early momentum for the seven seed, good, Jeff good. McNeil. Check that, the four seed, excuse me. Here's Yoenis Cespedes. Seed, yeah. yeah, I'm shortchanging you, Jeff. That's my fault. <laughs> Whoa, that ball is sent deep. Name. Kevin Kiermeyer. Oh, I almost missed the that. Game. I was going to lose it. Wow. What was that? I thought that went off his head. What a catch. Yeah, that's yeah, platinum, that's though, right, Blake? That's platinum. That's platinum. That is platinum. Holy. Wow, all mm. right. Here's Willie Adamas. Oh, the fake fun homer. Apparently a fun <laughs> hammer. I saw that. Uh, you know how we love it. Oh. Fake fun homer. Austin Meadows. Homer. Oh. Ooh. Oh, wow. Blake oh, Snell back. went 24 and 5 in the regular season. The top seed going into the playoffs. Ooh. That's coming in at 99. Here's the one-two from DeGrom. Oh, you, you get down, I'm gonna kiss you. It's inside. That. Oh. Is that whoa, gonna whoa, fall? Gonna and it will. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, and it's gonna bounce gonna over the center you. fielder's head. Well, what are we doing? Oh. That Astro turf. Great pitch. Austin okay, Meadows, that play little dribbler. Not... DeGrom, throw to second. <laughs> I love it. You can do stuff on this game you can never do in real life. No. Let's go on to first base all day. <laughs> so they get I the lead runner. <laughs> Austin Renfro, 11 homers in the regular season for Blake Snell. Bro, what is up with these weak swings? Oh, a little I, dribbler. I was going to first. I ain't going second on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you would. All right, so yeah, runner in scoring position for like D-Man Choi. 15 homers. Choi had 11 homers in the regular Whoa. season. A little dribbler. Ahmed Rosario is there. Not in time. Runner is coming home. Ooh. What are we doing, Ahmed? <laughs> Throw the ball. I can't believe Choi beat that out. He, well, he, yeah, he like slows <laughs> down to it and then. The 21 speed, good enough to beat the throw at first. Oh, that's hilarious. That's brutal. That's heads up base running, Blake. Yeah, yeah that's comedy. Hitting. You were just mashing L1, weren't you? <laughs> uh, yeah, I was. He was going. I knew he was going home. I mean. Blake, you're so garbage. Bro, these have been some of the worst swings I put on a baseball in this game ever. <laughs> and I'm hey, a run. But a run does score. We'll be back with game two of this semifinal series. Mets leading the Rays. You're watching MLB The Show 20 Players League on Fox Sports.
We're back with more semifinal action in MLB The Show 20 Players League on Fox Sports. Well, that's hard to do. All right, here's Wilson Ramos. That's not, that ain't doing it. <laughs> All right, Mike Zero is this one out. Zero <laughs> speed. No... He's a zero <laughs> speed. Zero. Jeff, you're gonna have to talk to to Wilson about that. Yeah, well, he he can move a little bit. Like if he if he wants a hit, he'll get one. He Here's Ahmed hit Rosario. He hit. Rats. Oh, oh stay there. How I keep greening stuff. And it's like oh, not where I want it. Charlie Morton getting tired. Remember in these three in game, <laughs> stamina is a factor. Jake Marisnik on deck. Oh, Ooh, that's a one. Walk him. I this thought is my, it was. Okay, team MVP. Team MVP right here. Why do you hit so well with Marisnik, Jeff? I don't know. I don't know. He rakes. He starts every game for me. Raph, he he went, hit bro. 458 I for you in go. the regular season, six homers. Out of the eight hole. Fly ball, right field. He'll catch that in foul oh, ground. No he's, speed. Oh, oh, he's going to test him. The throw to third. <laughs> oh, what's the Ramos? <laughs> How is zero speed getting the third? I don't, this is this. Okay, now I'm in a tough situation right here. Do I pinch hit or do I. Yeah. Yeah, pinch hit. I don't want to face the ground. Thank you. One no, out. You don't. Top of the second. <laughs> no chance I want to the face the ground. The wheels are turning here. This is, this, is, this, is, this is where it gets tough. You got to be a manager here. We're hitting. We're hitting. He's going to stay on, with Jake. DeGrom. Now, Jeff, DeGrom is a good hitting pitcher. Hit. Yes. No, he's shortstop in college. Took a... Uh, who do you take deep? He took Chris Sale oh, deep. Chris Sale deep. <laughs> what the? Oh, and a base hit past the diving Troy, first baseman. I need you to make that play. Forward. Chris, yeah, took Chris Sale deep and called. He can hit. I love it. On, Jacob Degrom with a big knock. Here's virtual Here's Jeff McNeil. Come on, I need to go yard again with myself. Charlie Morton, twenty fourth pitch. pitch. Morton having problems locating here. He's down 2-0. Make it 3-0. And on deck is Michael Conforto. 3-0, one out. Is that fair? Or foul? Oh, that ball sent deep. Going foul. way back. No way that was foul. Oh, just <laughs> foul. You want to replay that, don't you, Jeff? Yeah, can we replay that? I'm, I guarantee that went over the, the foul pole. Fair pole. Here we go. I don't know. Yeah, let's bring up. in the replay here. Hold on, I gotta get on the ball. <laughs> can you can you get on it? I Yeah, let's see. <laughs> that's a fair, a ball. fair ball. Oh, oh, that's a oh. fair ball. Oh no, that's foul. Oh, oh. just foul. Is it oh, look at that? That's crazy. Okay. That's a great call. Great call. I love that we checked the good replay, call, though. Good call. Had to check. I love, I love the competitiveness. Here's the three-one. Morton's deals, and it well, it's a liner to right. That ball was oh, well oh. struck. Instead, it's out number two. Oh, Mike. Jeff McNeil trying to steal game one of a best of three. And Blake Snell's bullpen has been huge for him. Much like the real life Rays, this Rays pen is filthy. Oh, including come Diego on. Castillo. Wow! Come on, though, man. 112 off the bat. Wow. Very early squared up result Good there. Pitch. Oh, nice pitch. Down on the count, 0 2. Three runs in from McNeil. Take good take. Are you going to get a good take? <laughs> Good the take. check down at third, no swing. It's one and two. Conforto, 10 home runs in the regular season. Here we go. 
goes upstairs as he's setting him up for something else. Oh, get off my plate. Oh. Hey. Yeah. Business is about to pick up here. I Here's the three two. Steal. Runners will be moving. No, they weren't moving. Grounded a second. And that's I didn't forget, I just hit the button too late. That ends the inning. All right. So we go to the bottom of the second. Blake Snell, the top seed, down three to one. Game two will be at City Field, and if necessary, back here for game three. Kevin Kiermeyer. And remember McNeil's move to have Jacob deGrom hit for himself. That means he was out back out for the second inning. Yeah, but he's got a base hit, so no matter what, it's great man. He sure did. That's a great move, a gutsy move by Jeff McNeil. Come on. I that ball up. is smoked. Squared up. But Marisnik is we got, there. We got Jake out there. 99 off the bat. Here's Yandy Diaz. He has a homer yeah, in this postseason. I'd love that memo out in center, but for some reason in this game, center field is a secondary position. So, because defense is well, difficult. I think, and game, and also, I, you've, been, you've, been, you've been using Nimmo as a defensive replacement, like in left field for He's Cespedes. a defensive replacement. I put him, I put him in left for, for Cess. Yeah. Golly, bro. Bless your soul. Gets inside. And... Conforto is there for out number two. So a pinch hitter now. And it will be Wendell. Joey Wendell pinch hitting for Diego Castillo. Looks at ball one. Blake Snell had four players with in double figures and home runs in the regular season. He's used Wendell as a bench player, and Wendell has gone deep. Get up there, Peter! Let's Ooh. go! Whoa! Pete Alonzo leaps up and makes the catch, and we go <laughs> on to the third. Peter. That's huge. Absolutely needed that, Peter. What a play. Oh, Nick Anderson. By Pete Alonzo. Ball. Alonzo getting it done at the plate and with the glove in game one. What was the trade to get Nick Anderson to... Tampa. Uh, Ryan uh, Stanek. I can tell you. Get off the plate, Got bro. It. I just, I remember facing Nick Anderson. <laughs> it was, I mean, it was Nick Anderson was and so Trevor good. Richards from the Marlins for Ryan Stanek, Jesus Sanchez, and Craig Mish. Okay. Nick Anderson to pick up. He's a real fun uh, guy. Blake, how filthy is Nick Anderson in real life? He's nice. Yeah, he's really good. He's good. Facing Robinson Cano. Runner at first. Hey, oh. Oh, that ball. Scorched foul. Jeff McNeil has been taking a lot of pitches, showing a lot of patience at the plate here in game one. And Robinson Cano. He'll rope we're gonna, one. We're gonna stay there. To the wall. I, I wasn't gonna. I had a feeling I was gonna get thrown out. He, yeah, we're just not going. Don't want to make the first out at third. I love the heads-up yeah. base running. Yeah, and Pete didn't run, so. <sighs> just missed. Instead, you went assessment. It will send one to shallow center. Kiermaier is there for out number one. Hold on, that too. Wilson Ramos, who had some heads up base running earlier, sends one to right center. Kiermaier going back, and he makes the catch. Right, that's a big Alonzo tag, that's a big tag and head to third. That's big, just because base hit scores them now. Base hit wasn't scoring them. Ahmed Rosario now. All right, yeah. Pass ball is a sneaky good play in this in this game. Give him the go, you get him at the plate every time. Rosario had 15 hits Let's go. in the regular season, and he ropes one down the line. A big insurance run by Ahmed Rosario. Oh, golly, bless Ooh. your soul. And here's Jake Marisnik. Remember, Marisnik hit 458 for Jeff McNeil in the regular season. Had some big hits in the playoff series against Dwight Smith Jr. 
It's now three and two. Runners will be on the move. The payoff Get pitch. Get down. Get down. Right fielder coming on, and Meadows will make the catch. That ends the inning, but another run for Jeff McNeil. And Blake Snell down 4-1, going to the bottom of the third. McNeil has out hit Snell 6-3, leading 4-1. Back to the top of the order, Willie Adamas, who's one for one. The boys up in the pen. It will be Jacob deGrom on for his third inning of work. Adamas looks at a slider, in for a strike. Oh, that ball well struck. That's so but terrible. It is right now, look. Well short of the warning track, and Cespedes is there. Blake, I thought that high fastball, I thought you smoked it. Bro, everything is like I'm um, just on, like on top of it. On the edge. Austin Meadows grounds the second. Oh. Blake Snell is down to his his final out. Hunter Renfro, 0 for 1. 25 pitches now for Jacob deGrom. Oh, looking for the complete yeah. game. Like and he's Peter. going to get it. GG, he's all around. And Blake Snell falls at home 4 to 1 as Jeff McNeil steals one on the road. And he'll have a chance to close out the top seed at City Field. Jeff McNeil of the Mets steals game one. Game two is coming up next. This is MLB The Show 20 Players League on Fox Sports. We're back. It's a must win for the top seed, Blake Snell. Let's get to game two of MLB The Show 20 Players League on Fox Sports. All right, a spot in the finals, up for grabs, and Jeff McNeil, a win away from punching his ticket into the finals of the MLB The Show 20 Players League playoffs. Here we go. Willie Adamas leading off. Noah Syndergaard getting the start. And we're right, underway I'm from Queens. I'm, warm I'm warming up the bullpen already. For some reason, it's All right, so tough some early activity. I, I, need some insurance. I need some insurance over there. Early activity for Jeff McNeil. Oof, That's my that dog. sinker came in hot at 99. Oh, dribbler in front. <laughs> Ramos pounces on it and throws to first for the out. Bro, I couldn't have hit water if I fell out of boat. <laughs> Here's Austin Meadows. Goes outside the zone, takes a hack at that, 0-1. Meadows hit 13 homers in the regular season for Blake Snell. Yeah, we had thir 13 bombs? Holy. Yeah. I swear lefties, man. Lefties rake. Get there. Ah. Sharply hit. Perfect, perfect. That means the swing yeah, timing perfect, was perfect. perfect. Uh, Mine, yeah, perfect, perfect. The contact perfect, perfect, result perfect, was perfect. Balls. Yeah, you would much prefer a... Uh... Oh, oh, that one nearly... Oh, it does. It hits Syndergaard. And we're going to have to oh, see he if he's okay. No way! <laughs> he is hurt. <laughs> wow. We have an injury. A nasty shot to the head, it says. And Syndergaard feeling groggy. Hey, how so good McNeil do I look had, how, warm, how good do I look warm in my bullpen? I, that's what man, you are pushing all the right buttons. <laughs> you are pushing that's, all the right buttons on right fire now. Right now. Hey, if, if Rojas needs to call me this year, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Jeff McNeil made some fantastic oh, managerial lefty. move in face game one, lefty. and now he had the foresight to warm up his bullpen early in this one. So the Syndergaard injury maybe won't have a big impact, although G-Man Choi just oh. hits a base hit, so the bases are loaded. What a turn of events here in the, op in the opening inning here of game two. Here's Brandon Lau. Oh, the throw oh. hole out there, out there. Well, I'm sitting on that pitch. 
Jeff McNeil is living right. Bro, he is like, this is his day. You know, like, he gonna, uh. See, I would bunt right here, but I'm not, I'm not a good bunter. Like, in this game. Three. Like, I just don't know how to get it down the line. I can Three hit it hits. down the line. In the top of the first, but McNeil able to work his way around it. Yanni Chirinos. Blake Snell's game two starter. Oh. Oh, hits it into the shift. R right into the shift. Yeah, that, that's such a raise. That's such a raise play right there. <laughs> Here's Michael Conforto. Maybe that's what I got to do. I just High fly ball. ball. That, that, Kiermaier I is there. I was right in the middle of it. I was right in the middle of the circle. Bro, Good timing. I'm throwing everything down the middle. Just don't move. Just swing. <laughs> just, just stay there. Pete Alonso homered in game one. There okay, you go. That's right. just, the shift. And he'll send a scorching grounder through the vacated spot in the infield, right and he's there. aboard. Here's the full four-hole hit of Robinson Cano. Hey. He had a hit. High fly ball, twisting foul along the right field line. So it's 0-1. Torino's is tough. He's got such a slow windup, and then just comes out 98. You can find Jeff McNeil on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Jeff McNeil. And on IG at Jeff McNeil 805. Blake's Instagram handle is Snellzilla. And you can find him on oh. Twitch, twitch.tv slash classically famous. Yoenis so Cespedes on deck. Feel that. That's the game, you know. Two outs. Another payoff pitch from Chirinos. And McNeil will draw the walk. Come on, Seth. Seth's got a hit for me in the playoffs, yet, but this is a big one right here. Cespedes facing Chirinos. And he sends that one the bat. deep to center. Kiermaier is good, there. Good. And he makes the catch. Really? The good, good contact. Not good enough in this case. We go to the second inning. Mike Zanino, double figure in homers in the regular season at 10. Ooh, sends one just foul along the third base line. Yeah, that's a bomb. That was bad pitch. Oh, that is out of here. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Swing timing, perfect. Contact result, perfect. And it's a one nothing lead for Blake Snell here in game two. Remember, Noah Syndergaard hit with a comebacker, forced to leave. Looks at a ball, it's one and one. Oh, Justin Blake. Wilson has come out of the pen. If anything, get out of here. That oh could, that's a foul ground. Oh, McNeil can't make the catch. That was a glitch. So the at-bat continues. Here's the one-two. Right. We, nice we want the strikeout. Yandy Diaz. Hitting over 660 in the postseason. He does have a homer. And Edwin Diaz will now come out of the Mets bullpen. We'll be back. This is MLB The Show 20 Players League on Fox Sports. Welcome back to MLB The Show 20 Players League on Fox Sports. Diaz on Diaz action here. Yandi versus Edwin. A run already oh, in. No. They lead off middle, homer middle. from Mike Zanino, and there's another homer. And another perfect, perfect. I mean, miss middle right now. Blake Snell had some good swings in game one, really didn't get rewarded. He's being rewarded right now. Five hits, two runs are in in the top of the second. Going to bring in Cafecito Jose Martinez to face the right-hander. That slider in for a strike, swing and a miss. If there is a game three, we go back to the trop. Oof. 
Yanni Chirinos going to hit for himself. So with a 2-0 lead, Chirinos will pitch the bottom of the second. Sends one here to Cano. And that's out number two. We can keep, we can keep it 2 nothing. We're okay. Yeah, in this format, it's all about preventing the big innings, right? Yeah, 2 nothing. we're good. I mean, it's like those five-run innings where it's just, oh, no. Let's go, Paul. Paul Sewald. Have you uh, have you been have you been using this card a bit? I haven't really seen you nope. Uh, nope. use Paul. Oh I'm boy, not. maybe you shouldn't use yeah. him any longer. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't use him because <laughs> that that was smoked. Come on, Paul. That is upper tank for G Man Choi. G -Man. Right. Perfect, right, perfect. A hundred eight off the bat. If there's a game, if and that ball sent to opposite field, but. Cespedes is there. I'm gonna have my boys for game for game three if we need them. So McNeil opting to keep some of his more trusted arms out of game two, looking ahead to game three, down four nothing. And Mike Zanino is gone deep again. Second homer of the game. That one's oh, upper tank. Goodness. And Blake Snell is pouring it on. Yeah. Second homer of the William inning. Out. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. The confidence is bound to be shot. <laughs> Might have to get a mound visit. We got one in there. We got a meter. All right, so here we go. Okay. All right, we're good there. Now, how are we missing that? Dude, you hit two homers in the inning. Yeah, he's not missing <laughs> anything right now. <laughs> Here's Yandy Diaz. Right now. Oh, that was a great and remember, as the pitcher's stamina goes down, their accuracy also goes down. And that pitch goes up. Oh, the ball goes up over the head Get of Yoenis ball. Cespedes. Double. Yandy Diaz is in with a double. Good news, I'm gonna get the pitcher out twice. Oh, you're gonna pinch. You're gonna pinch hit. Or no. No, no. no, he's gonna leave in Yanni Chirino, so Chirinos will send one to right. Oh my goodness, nothing's clicking right now. We want to remind you that Boys and Girls Clubs across the country are providing critical services to children impacted by COVID-19. Visit bgca.org for more information. All right, Robert Giselman now on in relief. And Willie Adamas greets him with a base oh, knock up the middle. Another run will score. And barring a massive comeback, we are going back to Tropicana Field for game three. That ball gets away, goes back to the backstop. Hey. Runners have to pull. Hey, the, Nas the Nationals did it to us last year, so. Oh, the, the, the big comeback. You're looking for a big comeback, certainly. In the, oh, boy. That is Not going helping. to split the defense. It's in the gap. Rolls all the way to the wall. One run will score. Two runs will score. This ain't it. I don't got it right now. We need Jake back. And it's eight nothing. In the head. It's a very good point. Noah Syndergaard got hit with a comebacker right in the noggin, and he was knocked out of this game. Um, I have to admit, I think that's the first injury I've seen in players' league play. Look where that pitch is. Yeah, I, I don't know how he got to that one. Hunter Renfro yeah, like expanding the zone. There's another dribbler. But Rosario is yeah, there, fires right. across the diamond, and that will end the inning. But wow, a huge a inning back. for Blake Snell as he leads now eight to nothing. Just to shoot Jed. I haven't used Jed in a, a while. Post. And I need uh in case I need Nemo in case for some reason I have a crazy inning. Jeff, I love that you're always thinking ahead here. I love it. I mean, yeah, you can't you can't burn your best guy off the. Oh, that's a knock. That's a knock. Oh. 
Yanni Chirinos looking for the complete game. And we go back to the top of the lineup, and here's Jeff McNeil. 22 pitches for Yanni Chirinos here as he's two outs away from sending this series back perfect, perfect. to game three in Tropicana Field. I can only hit it 105. Oh, that was the, that's the dreaded, dreaded, perfect, perfect grounder right into the, right into the shift. Here's Michael Conforto. See, why does he bunt that? See, I'm just practicing right now. I'm just trying to. And I'm that to, like, will do it. To third base, but I don't know how. We'll be back. This is MLB The Show 20 Players League on Fox Sports. What a comeback by Blake Snell. We're going back to the trop for a deciding game three. That's next. This is MLB The Show 20 Players League on Fox Sports. Blake Snell works out of trouble. Two hits, no runs, and a runner thrown Whoa. out at the plate. Memo behind the can plate, turn up. Can he catch? <laughs> <laughs> so McNeil might have to change that. We're gonna, we're gonna change Can't it. have Memo behind the plate. Although, you know what, Jeff? Brandon would do that for you. He would put the gear on. Yeah. That He's like the nicest dude ever. And now we got Seth behind the plate. <laughs> what? Oh, Seth, I was saying Seth. We got. No, we're gonna. No, no, no. I I'm all over the place right now. All right. Remember, the yeah, winner of this game will go on to the finals. All right, so we're ready to go. Willie Adamas leading off against Jacob DeGrom, who was fantastic in game one. This is here. It's 1-0. and mm, Good curveball drops in for a strike. Adamas really effective for Blake Snell at the top of the order. Case in point. Sends one deep to left center. Off the top of the wall, and he's in with a double. He's swinging a bat well. Willie Adamas. Now it brings up the dangerous Austin Meadows. Swings at a curveball low in the zones and sends it foul. Ooh, 97, just late. Or just early, excuse no, me. No, that was not even... That was not even supposed to be anywhere near there. Sends that one foul. He's... DeGrom ahead in the count, 0-2. Oh, We're there. Jesus. Oh, that one is roped to right. Not Adamas rounding third, heading home. Can't pitch and right Blake now. Bell is on the board first here in game three. Can't pitch right and that was a perfect, supposed to be long. Hunter Renfro line. goes deep. And that's gone. Middle, middle, perfect. I understand how you feel now. Hunter Renfro with a homer. And Blake Snell has a 3-0 lead. G-Man Choi at the plate, batting 600 in the postseason. Remember, in these three-inning games, whoever scores first, it puts a lot of pressure on their opponents. Jeez, what are we? Oh, my goodness. Oh, what a play by Pete Alonzo. <laughs> that ball is smoked. Did that say 107 miles per hour yeah. off the bat? It sure did. Wow. <laughs> what a play by Alonzo. Of course, Pete worked on his defense very hard last year. Brandon Lau batting 333 in the postseason. I don't even know and how to Matt pitch. Ball right? is like Turn and burn, and Blake Snell is pouring it on Jacob DeGrom. Another home run. It's 4 nothing. Here's Mike Zanino, the game two hero. 
two homers in game two. You can throw strikes right now. Like, it's perfect, and it's still a ball. And it's... And that ball's going to be... Well, they're going to hold him to a single. I don't even know what to throw. In the zone, out of the zone. There's Adamas. Down 0-2. One out. Top of the second. Good contact there, and that's a perfect, perfect. 105 miles per hour off the bat, and it's off the batter's eye. It's so bad. Jeez. Willie Adamas has it like that, Blake? Yeah. Those are good pitches. Those are cornered. That was definitely the outside of portion of the plate. Like, that, that's a good a pitch. That's black. Like, you can't put it anywhere else without letting it get hit over 95, the fence. 95 coming in, 97 going out. So one out. It's now 6 nothing. As here's Hunter Renfro. Renfro one for one. And he sends that one to right. I got it. So Blake Snell, three outs away from earning a spot in the finals. Here's G-Man Choi, and he goes down to get it. That's going to be in the alley all the way to the wall. At least one run will score, and the runner is thrown out at home. But Blake Snell extends his lead to 7-0. Two outs. Here's Brandon Lau. Dellen Batances roughed up here in the bottom of the second uh. and Seth Lugo and Seth you like pitching with Lugo when there's men on base yeah when he's in a stretch wind up is brutal he's too slow that ball's in the dirt blocked by Ramos Oh, that was nasty. Good pitch. All right, no, no, In the dirt, right. throw to first, and that's it. But Blake Snell adds Six, to his lead. Seven. seven, nothing. Chip away mode now for Jeff McNeil. I got no it's chance. Jose Alvarado. Nasty, nasty left-hander. I'm not swinging it well in the postseason. Here's Michael Conforto, 0 for 1. What are they doing? Oh, sawed him off. And Alvarado catches the fly ball and is out number one. Here's Pete Alonzo, walked in the first. Alvarado misses. Alonzo ahead in the count, 2-0. How do I miss that? Right it's into the little shift. Little. Diaz throws a cross to first, and Jeff McNeil is down to his final out. Robinson Cano, who has been oh. really the best offensive player for McNeil in these playoffs. Good first game. big swing in here. Terrible. Good game, man. Kevin Kiermeyer makes the catch, and pitch. that Can't is hit. it. They are celebrating at Tropicana Field as Blake Snell and the Tampa Bay Rays are on to the championship series where it will be a best of five. Jeff, I, I know you're frustrated, especially after the game one win. Uh, wh what was the difference in, in the games in games two and three? Uh, I think he was just missing, or in those first game, he was missing those pitches, you know, that he should have hit. And then games two and three, he didn't miss anything. I mean, I thought I made some good pitches and, Still hit him, but I mean, I left a lot over the plate. So, uh, I mean, he did what you had to do with those pitches. Blake, you were locked in, man, uh, at the plate <laughs> in games two and three. And, and really going back yeah. to game one, you you weren't uh, really missing by much, but you're locked in at the plate. What's working for you? I just stopped talking. That was like my key, like don't talk, just focus on the game. Yeah, and then as I did that, I started squaring it up and I was on it way more often and was yeah. able to put a lot of good swings on the ball. Uh, Jeff, uh, what chance do you give Blake in the championship series? Uh, I, I think he's 
I think he's going to, I think he's going to do it. I mean, uh, it's definitely the best player I've played so far. So, uh, I think, uh, I think he's got a good chance. Appreciate that. Uh, Jeff, how would you, how would you uh, rate your experience in the uh, MLB, the show 20 players league? Oh, it was awesome. A lot of fun. Uh, you know, getting to play against, you know, other major league players is awesome. You know, give the, give the fans something to watch right now. And we, we don't have much and, you know, we're stuck inside. So, yeah. um, uh, I mean, I had a great time. Love doing it again. Uh, you know, I'm going to keep playing, uh, keep streaming. So um, enjoyed it. So, yeah, had, had a good time. And Blake, I, I know Rays fans and really baseball fans are uh, always in your chat when you're when you're streaming yeah. on Twitch, and, and also the the uh, the Rays Twitter handle has uh, been definitely <laughs> showing you a lot of love. What has it been like for you? Yeah, uh, I think overall, like. Um, it's been amazing. Um, I'm, I complain about like the difficulty level and all that, but I think the best part is like being able to compete. And I think that's the best part. Like you get to compete against other athletes that you compete against, uh, normally for a whole season of six months. And then being able to do that, uh, virtually on this game is fun because like you can feel like the nerves and like the excitement, it all gets created again. So that's a lot of fun, but Overall, I mean, the Rays fans have been nuts. The Rays media has been nuts. And uh, no, it's been, it's been a lot of fun. Twitch.tv slash Jeff McNeil uh, on Twitch and then on Instagram, Jeff McNeil 805. Hey, Jeff, uh, it, it was a pleasure watching you play, man. I know Met fans and baseball fans really uh, enjoyed getting into your streams and, and really enjoyed uh, asking you questions. So uh, we, we enjoyed it, man. I know it wasn't the result you're looking for, but we appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for doing it. Hey, Blake, you're going to take on Lucas Giolito in the finals. I know you guys met in the regular season. Uh, what do you think of Giolito's skills on the sticks? He's good, and he's gotten better. So I faced him before the tournament, and he was terrible. I faced him towards the end of the season, and he was a lot better. Uh, he can pitch. He can hit. Um, so I'm excited to see his uh, progression. I know it's been um, – I mean, he's gotten a, so much better so so fast. Yeah. So. Uh, I'm excited for it. It'll be a fun matchup. And it's best of five, so one game doesn't mean anything, which is huge. Two games doesn't mean anything. You got to win three, so I'm excited. Hey, and uh, I can't show it to you, but I have seen the trophy that goes to the winner, and I I'm just going to tell you, it's it's quite something. I think if you're fortunate enough to to win it, you're going to be thrilled to, to, to receive it. Uh, I mean, yeah, that'd be awesome. It's a good memory for sure. So I'm going to try my best to, to, to get that trophy, no doubt. Blake Snell of the Tampa Bay Rays on to the finals up next, a best of five. So the stage is set for our championship series. Lucas Giolito of the White Sox against Blake Snell of the Rays. Who will be crowned champion of the MLB The Show 20 Players League? Find out tomorrow on ESPN. I'm Robert Flores. Thanks for watching. Remember, for more information on the Players League, go to MLB.com slash Players League.